Well, hello friends. Today we're going to make a JSON pretty printing tool. Um, because um, now that we are starting to add some JSON data to stuff like the proc file system, it's a bit tedious to have to stare at this raw JSON output, and it would be nice if we could format it with some indentation, maybe some color, you know. Um, so that's what I was going to do. What I'm going to do today, um, just a simple uh, program. We'll call it JC for JSON cat or JP for JSON print. I guess JP is good. Um, okay, and then just refresh. Okay. JP. And here we will include, of course, the JSON classes. Um, object, okay. And then also studio. St okay. RC, RGB. Okay. If RC is uh, one, then. Um, Say like uh, um, how do I want to do this? Do no, no, no. Let's just do it the uh, let's do this the then nice and comfortable way with a C file, and then we can worry about other stuff some other time. And so we'll just not even do the piping stuff right now. We'll just do the cat. Um, or like JP file name thing. Okay, so if RC is not uh, do, then um, print stir usage uh, JP file. Yeah, JP file. That's fine. File open CIO device speak only. Say print stutter error. Could couldn't open for reading file dot error string. Okay, turn one file contents is file read all and then. JSON is um, JSON value from string file contents. Okay. And then um, I guess we can do a print JSON. <coughs> JSON and then let's see. So we'll do static um, print uh, and oh, we can do it like this actually. Yeah, uh, const JSON value value int indent is zero and then we'll put this down here. We'll start by doing uh, printf. <laughs> That's going to be a bit ugly. Um, Dent plus i. Um, well, let's put that in a helper actually. Dent. Um, so print. Printed dent. That's fine. Really sweating the important details here. <coughs> okay. Print and end. And end. The value is object. Uh, value as object dot for each member.
let's say printf add um, for each member. And then the first thing we want to do here is print that. Then do one of those. Um, it's not that. And likewise with that. Say that um, field name or member name auto member value name dot character as a like that, and then um, print. Print and then we pass it the member value and then indent plus one and then maybe we'll do two spaces per indent. Okay. Um, then uh, let's see. Let's return here actually. Then we can do some other types like it's an array. Do it this way. Um, bum, bum, bum. We'll see how this is going to look. Maybe I don't want to do the indent here, actually. Uh, but this is going to be as array for each. Entry value. And the members are separated by comma. And same thing here. Value is string. I mean, for any other type, we'll just do like. Um, and um, print and then print and then and then print f um, we'll do print f and we'll pass the value dot serialize the Okay, well, this was a lot of science right here, so uh, let's just see what this looks like. Didn't open for reading. Well, I should probably pass it the file name here, too. So there we go. JP, fuck all. Well, that looks like shit. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Should probably do some new lines. That's definitely something that we want to be doing. So, printing a value, we should do that. Or is that really what we want to do? For each of these, let's do <clears throat> let's do a new line. And um, let's see how that would be like. I feel like this is this kind of thing that um, some people are really good at because they're used to doing pretty printing, and um, this is not something that I normally do. So I'm a little bit lost with uh, this type of logic, <laughs> but uh, we'll make it work. Well, let's see. Mm -hmm. um, priority colon and then 
Okay, indenting right here, we shouldn't be there in coloring. I guess we should only indent if we are nesting. Um, so if we're doing an array or an object, that's when we need to worry about the indent stuff. change what that does for us. Toggle. So, you know, we're starting to look kind of nice here. And all these things are indented, which looks a bit silly. Um, but we are going somewhere. That's good. Let's do some colors. So let's say that for the um, object uh, names here, we can put, um, I don't know, some of that yellow. And um, for values, should we just leave them alone? I don't know. Um, I guess we can put something nice. Could even have different depending on the type you could have something different so we could do like um value is string and we could uh, print it if let's say we could run on in for red and afterwards so we'll just make sure we clear the color but uh, let's see else if value is number some other schmancy color and maybe for booleans we'll do something special too uh, that, I don't know we'll see just to see what it looks like see if we like it no it's not JQ it's JP um, oh shit I <laughs> put new lines in a hole that was dumb. That's not what I wanted to do. Come on, dude. Um, da -dum 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 -dum. JP proc all. Come on, let's see. It's kind of cool. I have to admit that it's kind of cool looking. Let's uh, show a little more. We don't have any booleans in here. Um, but I do have a test form here from Visual Builder, so let me just use that. But see, we got the false and true and green. I actually quite like this. Okay, so let's um, let's do something for null and undefined too. What is null? We can do null is I don't know thirty four. Kind of run out of colors here. Undefined. We can use no and undefined actually for that one. Um, I think that's that's what we want. Um, and then let's do something about this goofy indentation. So um, what do we have here? We are um, inside of an array, so we are. Uh, this and let me indent like that. So maybe when we print the object, we shouldn't new line at the end. Um, and when we print the array, we shouldn't new line at the end, but we let the caller deal with that. And then when we exit the program, we have to do a new line. Oh, that's looking kind of interesting. We're getting somewhere here. Um, test firm. Of course, the, the levels are not exactly right, but because um, I think this one is not uh, where it's supposed to be. <coughs> so we're starting this object 
and then the indentation increases uh, and then maybe here we should actually do the indentation one less mm. Oh no, that one should be one more. So, um, so we're iterating over an array of objects. And for each object, we do print indent. Then we print that indent, and then we start uh, going through the values with one higher indent. What does that even mean? Print indent. It's that. And then we print this and then start doing these. But then why does this one have here? Oh, because this one is here. Right. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this one. Because yeah, we should do the array one on the line. I was thinking like we could do this, but would, would that really look nicer? No, 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 that doesn't look good. I feel like I'm in one of those uh, programming interviews. This is <laughs> that type of stuff. Um, God, why why is this so difficult for me right now? Uh, I should have uh, should have done something different <laughs> in the morning. Um, how do I want this to be? Maybe this is the trick, actually. So we align the um, items to indent plus one. Yeah, that's what we want. No, I mean, maybe that's not what, what everyone would want, but that's how I want it to look. That's pretty neat. So, yeah, that's really good. Test fun. Very cool. Um, okay, I think, I think we have something we can commit here. So uh, let's just do that. Commit status, pick the add, do the line JP. Okay, user land, add a uh, simple, JSON pre printing utility called bin JP. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We'll just push that. Oops. Uh, I was working on JQ before, but I decided to make my own pre printer instead. Okay. So I think <clears throat> I think we're gonna be good here. Um, so if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching and hanging out with me while I struggle through this uh, difficult programming task, and uh, I will see you next time.